I see what the balls are doing. Welcome to week two of five at Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. It's time for another episode of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. In the previous episode, the not exactly 100th edition, number 101 that is, we did all right. We were in 80s the whole time. It was an 80, 87, 87, 254 for the triple. And we are bowling on lane 30 yet again, because when we were here first time, that's the lane we were on. Due to the fact they were using their sound system, most of the audio will unfortunately be muted out. So how will this week go? And by the way, the last four are going to be your traditional single events. So again, how is it going to go? Let's find out. Frame one, ball one. So far, we've had nothing under 80. That's a pretty good start, in my opinion. No good. Reset. Ball two. Might have hit the foul thing too late. Might be wrecking it for myself here. Right now, scoring says this is ball three, and then frame two, ball one will actually be ball three. Do we have a Kaliri? Yes, we do. Kaliri left, which is the four horsemen and the nine pin. Ball three. I'll have the front counter fix it. Right now, the automatic scoring system thinks this is frame two, ball one. Not the case. Then we are left with the four horsemen all by themselves for a six. And for those of you who like the pin setters, here's the bowl more in action. There goes death, famine, conquest, and war. Hopefully, do better next time. And a new set of pins, and there you go. Frame two, ball one, score fixed. And that's another instance as to why I love automatic scoring. Ball two. At least it didn't start in the gutter this time. Instead, we took out one of the two easiest pins. Ball three. Slow and steady progress. I don't know about you, but I like fast and immediate a lot better. We do even worse this time with a five. With scores like this, how could I not go on the Cantlepin Pro Tour? 6-1 and one and a 5-2 and two for a big whopping 11. Frame 3, ball 1. With a start like that, even mediocrity might be a challenge. Will we improve? Ball 2. Destroyed Eagle. If we aim for the right, we can probably use the wood on the left to help take out the other two pins. Or do that and just completely ruin it. Ball three. Best thing to do now is aim for the right wing and hopefully get the prey out of its talon as well. 
There we go. Some improvement. We got a nine. Frame four, ball one. Things are starting to look up. Now it's just a matter of keeping that momentum going. Ball two. It's all a matter of hitting the most difficult pin to hit, the head pin. Found it! Just a little bit too direct. Ball three. The three, six, and ten remain. Piece of wood behind the three that could guide the ball into the rest. The aim was off, but the piece of wood helped to get the ten. That is much better, and we're starting to get into good territory again. Nine and three, ten and four, we're at a thirty. It's still a little low, but it's not that bad. Frame five, ball one. Feeling good coming off that 10 frame. Now it's a matter of getting marks to go along with it. That ain't helping. Ball two. Best we can do now is a spare, or as it's called in candle pin, the Emily. Ball three, one of the worst stink frames possible. At least it's not a zero, but still, a stink frame of one would just be plain terrible. And at least it's not a one. Six is better than that. Frame six, ball one, but road to mediocrity so far. Even without marks, a lot of nines and tens could pull this into the good territory. Marks, of course, we do want. Ball two. Once again, if we could rotate the thing about 130 degrees, I'd be getting strikes all day. Ball three, stink frame. We got the whole right side. Now it's a matter of getting all of the left side. At least one to avoid a stinker. No stink frame there, it's a 10. That was a mixed bag. We got a not so great six and five. Then we got a 10 and six. Pulling out of a stink frame, we are now at 46. Still okay. Frame seven, ball one. The pressure is on to hit the good territory. Now it's a matter of putting things together. No, I'm not putting the same piece of video in over and over again. Ball two. With shots like that happening all the time, the fact that I get the score I have now is amazing. With more shots like that, I could actually get good scores. Ball three. There's about 11 inches of space, which we can knock this pin down. And we couldn't find it. Still, it's a nine. Frame eight, ball one. Looking for that elusive mark. I mean, we're doing okay, but a mark will be better. Ball two. On the positive note, it's not just the 10 pin this time. Ball three. Could this be the stink frame? So much for improvement besides knocking out just the 10 pin. We need more. Two is bad. That was a decent recovery. We got an eight. Those two frames had horrible starts, but pretty decent finishes. Got a respectable nine and seven, and an okay eight at eight. We are at 63. Good is still possible. Just don't stink it up. Frame nine, ball one. Mediocrity, most likely. Again, good as possible with some high numbers, and with marks, even better results. Great ball. Horrible leave. Ball two. Ball one was great, and then that happened. That's a very tough shot. If we capped the piece of wood, we could probably make it happen. That was pure luck. Finally a mark.
Dumb, that was dumb luck. Ball one, El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? The way first balls have been going, it's probably not going to be all that great. But you never know. El Stinko gave us an eight and a stinky Woolworth for a leave. Couple pieces of wood that can make it go away though. Ball two, 90s are possible. It's amazing how just one mark in a game, plus a good fill, changes things. Ball three, too far left. Or too far right, whatever. Kingpin all by itself, piece of wood making that target a bit wider. And we end with 10. Well, it looks like this game actually didn't suck. It barely meets average ability, which for me, I'm pretty happy with. And that's a 91. With all that crappy bowling that was going on, I'm surprised we even got anywhere near that. I'll be honest there. And that's this episode of Watch Me Suck at Bowling from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. This is Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one. Alright. I'm constantly oh, watching. All right. I'm probably next. This is some sort of bad opening. That should do well. Oh, so close, me. No, that's not going fast enough. And it was behind. You could hit the pin directly or hit the left side of the wood. Couldn't get a 10. And he got a 10.